Alright, so here we are at the Arboretum. It is June 1st. June 1st. June 1st. Wow. It's one of yeah. our last days of our internship. When did you start? April. Really? 26. Yes. And when did we start working the bees? April 27th. And we are here with Park School, Harris and Abby, doing their internship here. And they had their first experience. Going in to not a hive, but hives. Abby's got our records. And Parrish spotted a queen in Rosemary's hive. <laughs> April 27th? But we, we worked yeah, very early on. Wow. That's amazing. About six weeks, five weeks. And here we are from one to eight hives. One to eight. And you watched wow. it all happen and made it all happen. From a swarm. To a hive. Yeah. Swarm to a hive. Beginning with a swarm. Ending with eight hives. <laughs> so today we went in and we looked at all the bees. And what was your biggest surprise today? Well, we had a queen excluder on a lot of hives, and but we were still ending up with brood on the top hives, which is really confusing because that's the opposite of what a queen excluder is supposed to do. <laughs> yeah. And it happened multiple times, so it's a mystery that we'll have to work on solving. And I will ask at the Central Maryland Beekeepers meeting tonight about the possibilities. Yeah. And um, something made you both full-fledged beekeepers oh, today. Oh yes, we both got stung today. For the first yeah. time. Yeah, both yep. on our heads. I only once perished four times. Four times. All at once, we might say. Yeah, it wasn't once. like she came back and got stung, came back, but, but <laughs> no. one time, four bees got up inside yeah. and did their duty. But so now we have full-fledged beekeepers. Yes. Two more to add to the crowd. And well, something else we did was that in hive four, since there's not much going on, so we took a frame of brood from hive three and a queen cell that we found, and we put it in. So hopefully that gets them going. And it gives them time to, yeah. for that queen to start laying so that the worker bees don't start and lay them because they can't lay fertilized eggs. They lay eggs, but they're not fertilized, which means they're drones, and then you get drone bound, and then you forget that hive. So we might have just saved the hive today. So on your reflection of this month, anything you want to say about your experience of Working at the Arboretum? I mean, I didn't come in knowing how much I would learn about beekeeping, but it's been sort of our primary project. I mean, I just had no idea how formulaic, but also like flexible you had to be. And I mean, I just, I feel that I really have a handle on how beekeeping works, which is a huge deal that I wasn't, I mean, a skill that I'll keep for a long time. And you weren't so, expecting it. I wasn't yeah. expecting it, but That's I, the I'm best more than part. excited That's about it. That's what always happens with bees, right? You go in with a plan and it never works out. It always changes. But it's important to have a plan knowing that it'll never work. Yeah. I also have learned so much more than I thought. All And it, it was all very experiential. It was all very, what's the word, experiential learning? Yes. That's it. Which I think is the best kind of learning because we'd just be um, in the hives. And then she would say, here, pass me an inner cover or look at what's on this frame. What do you see? And we'd have to just like say what we saw. It's really made me realize how just complex and smart even these like tiny creatures are. Like bees are so smart and such hard workers. Um, and they have a whole like life. Like there's, I feel like there's a whole city going on over there. It's very exciting stuff. That's kind of what I'm just thinking right now. If we talked earlier about how this space at one point was an apartment, so so it's back to a residential place <laughs> yeah. of living, and it just really happens is. to be bees this time around. High rises and everything. Yeah. <laughs> we'll think. All right. Any final words for today? Thank you, Jude. Oh, my Thank pleasure. You, Thank you. It's been a real joy. I hope to continue the legacy of you guys by bringing in students next summer. We're gonna send them your way. Okay. Yeah. Hard workers. And you'll take them. Yeah. If they're hard workers, I'll take them. Great. Two's plenty, okay. don't you think? Yeah, It'd no, be hard to do more than that with the, uh, yeah. with the hives. I agree. Okay. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See Bye. Bye.